So this is lab 4.3 and I am Brad Royball. So the whole point of this uh, lab is basically we want to go over how to sort of iterate through a list and combine its elements and work with its elements in a little bit more unique fashion than what we've been doing previously. We want to do it um, sort of in an ordered way. So as you can see here for the lab, um, the first thing that we want to do is create a list of at least six names um, with pretty much anything we want. We want to vary the names as much as possible. So as you can see right here, I've got um, my list already set up. I have it twice and that'll come in handy for both parts of the first section roll call. Um, but the first part that we want to do is we want to set um, the characters, which is the variable I've created for this list, to um, the list that I've created. So you can see it's all characters from Star Wars, Mr. Kenobi, Mr. Skywalker, and so on. So I've only got five names here, but we can see we can add these. We can do plus, and I can put another name right here, and we're going to call it Mr. Dooku. So I've created another name and I'm going to ahead and duplicate this for the time being into right here. So I'm going to get rid of this list and place that right there. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to write a snap script to welcome, welcome each person to the program by name one at a time. So um, I want to basically iterate through this list um, and then perform some action. So we know we have a lot of different options for how we can iterate and loop through things. Um, and I'm going to use this for block right here. So this block is really uh, advantageous to us because we can go from i equals 1 to some other determined number. Here it's 10. We can use i as our iterated step, right? So we know which element we're on. So here I'm going to go to variables, and I'm going to set my second part of the loop to the size of the list that I just created. So we have the block right here I want. So we're gonna go from i equals one to length of a list. And I'm gonna go ahead and select my characters list, put that right there. And for each character in my list, I'm gonna say hello. So I'm gonna say hello for one second so it loops rather quickly for us. And I'm going to take the variables and I'm gonna to go to our item block that we've been using. Say item one of list. So of course we know we can put a list right there for we're gonna use characters in this case. And we're going to use our iterating variable right here, i, and we're going to put it inside of item one of character. So now we're going to say hello to item i of character seconds. And actually, you can see I've done that completely backwards. We're going to put one right there. And instead, I'm going to say hello, but I need to join, of course. So I'm going to say join. And there we go. So now this script is going to loop do our list of characters and it's going to say each name hello it's going to say the item and it's going to iterate each time it's going to say item i of characters for one second so if we click this we can say it loops through each one hello miss amadala hello mr windu and so on so that's pretty simple again the most important part of this and i'm actually going to peel this out real quick so you can see it is this i operator right here is being able to loop through the length of them by basically just you know, having a solid iterator each time. So if I hit Control Z, that should go ahead and, oh, nope, it's gonna do it incorrectly for me again. And there we have it. So if I go ahead and stop, that should stop executing my code. The second part of this lab is we wanna write a snap script that welcomes all the players at once. So for example, instead of saying, welcome or hello, Mr. Kenobi, hello, Mr. Skywalker, we wanted to say hello to all the characters only once. Right, so I'm going to start with this one down here because it's the same thing. And I'm gonna do something a little bit similar, but what we're going to do is add. So I'm going to take this out, put this right here, take this out as well. Um, I'm gonna keep this for now. So what we're gonna do is basically do um, what I would kind of explain is like a shopping cart. So we wanna add all these items of this list right here to our shopping cart as we go throughout the aisle. And then at the very end, we wanna check them out all at once. Instead of, as we see right here, you know, to the shopping cart analogy, we'd be sort of checking them out one at a time and buying them as we came across them at the shelf. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, right? So what we wanna do is be able to add each item in our list to our shopping cart and then perform some operation at the very end. So what I've done is I've created a variable called greetings. So our greeting is gonna be the variable that we uh, sort of use as our shopping cart and I'm gonna go um, and I'm gonna use my set variable so this is what we're gonna do in snap is we're basically going to set greetings 
and we're going to go down and find it, to um, the new element in the list plus what we already have. So the first thing I'm going to do is, and this is really important, is I want to go ahead and instantiate our set block in the very beginning. Otherwise, it's not going to know what variable we're talking about. So I'm going to set it to hello. And I'm going ahead and snap that block back up onto it. And I'm, each time we iterate through this list, I'm going to set greetings to greetings plus the new item of the list. So to do that, I go to, I'm going to grab a join block, I believe is what I want. As soon as I can find it, join right there. So I'm going to join and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of pretty much everything inside the list. I want three spaces and you'll see why. So I'm going to set greetings to greetings and then I'm going to join greetings with a comma and a space and you'll see why that's important in just a second to um, the item I of characters. And I'm going to go ahead and snap that inside. So what this is going to do, and I'm going to set this to five seconds, is it's going to go through, it's going to set greetings to hello. Initially, that's all it'll have inside of it. Each time we go through this list and we select the current item of the list right here, we're going to set greetings equal to greetings, whatever it has already inside of it, plus the new thing. So the first time it goes through, it'll be hello, plus a comma, a space, and Mr. Kenobi. Second time it goes through, it's gonna have greetings, this one right here. It's gonna have hello, Mr. Kenobi, comma, and then we're gonna add Mr. Skywalker to it as well. And you'll see it'll go throughout that whole thing, and then at the very end, we're gonna basically say, and if I could find my variable, it's gonna say that whole thing for five seconds. So if I go ahead and demonstrate that by clicking, you can see it says, hello, Mr. Kenobi, Mr. Skywalker, Ms. Amidala, Mr. Windu, Ms. Tano. One way we can demonstrate that is actually by taking this length of characters out right here. And I'm going to replace this with three. So this is only going to create a greeting for the first three items of the list. So now it says Mr. Kenobi, Mr. Skywalker, and Ms. Amidala. So as you... As we have seen, it's, it basically adds these things to our shopping cart, which is greetings in this case. And it's going to add those items, but only up to however many we give it, right? So it only went to Mr. Kenobi, then it added Mr. Kenobi, Mr. Skywalker, and then it added to it added Miss Amidala to the greeting that already included Mr. Kenobi and Mr. Skywalker. Um, so that's the first part of the lab that I want to cover. It is a little bit more lengthy, so I wanted to give you enough time to kind of digest that. And uh, please stay on the lookout for part two.